Welcome into the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, as we get set to bring you another game of Arkansas Razorback hockey. Tonight we have the Division Three team taking on the University of Kansas Jayhawks, who played last night. Kansas came out on top of that when they're announcing the starting lineups and goal tonight for Arkansas will be Alex Kalmus. Opposite him for Kansas will be Ben Smith. And we'll pause for the national anthem. My name is Corey Porter alongside me today, EJ Sanders, Quinn Shields on the camera tonight. EJ, what are some of the keys to the game here well, this afternoon? It's, you know, last night Arkansas dropped the game last night 5-1, to one, and uh, things that they didn't do so well are things that they're really going to need to accentuate tonight. Uh, they need to get a better forecheck uh, for one. Uh, you know, they, they were really solid on the forecheck last night, but they got caught back a couple of times and really let Kansas sit in their offensive zone on some possessions that they scored on. Uh, other than that, they need to get to those loose pucks quickly. I mean, Kansas is a fast skating team. We saw it all night last night where KU would get to the puck first and Arkansas struggled to get it away from them. A very crisp passing team in Kansas. They're going to have to stop uh, those those long offensive zone stays that Kansas was able to generate. And the other thing is you've got to stop Dane Johnson. As for Kansas, they just need to repeat performance, uh, you know, get to the dirty areas and keep those passing performances up. Uh, they do a good mix of neutral zone trap and four check. I'd like to see them do more of that again tonight. And just don't get caught back. That's all there is to it for KU. Arkansas wearing their gray jerseys, Kansas in the red. And Arkansas will win the first face off of the night, but it's taken away quickly by Pearson for KU. Outlet pass here, tipped ahead. And it's going to get into the Arkansas zone, taken by McConnell. He's going to get a quick shot away, blocked in front by Deacon. Back to the point, held by Pearson. He makes a move, gets around a man, centering pass, taken away by the Hogs, but this one tipped out. Back to the defenseman, a quick shot, couldn't get it through the traffic. Puck is still loose out in front. Finally, Deacon gets it to the sideboards, and Arkansas gets it to the blue line, but kept in once again. Arkansas getting in the way of some passes early, but unable to get out of their zone as they finally do. The Kansas defense has it. Nice pass ahead to Bachman. He puts on the brakes, tries to find McConnell just ahead of him, and he's going to throw one in front. Good poke check away there by Kalmus. And Arkansas gets it out to the neutral zone where Kansas will pinch him up against the boards and take the puck away once again. This is Bachman. Long cross ice pass, misses the mark. Retreating now is Pearson as Arkansas makes a full bench change. McConnell tipped it in. He had some room in front of him, but he needed a change as well. Coming back the other way is McLean. He's got Parisi with him. Looks to find him in the middle, and a good job breaking that up by the KU defense as they break out of their zone, and it's taken away by Parisi at the red line. He'll play it back to Palmer. He looks ahead to McLean. McLean has some room in front of him. Puts on the Jets, tries to get around a man as he's pinched against the boards, and it's taken away nicely by Engel. Skating it out now is KU. This is Dane Johnson. Leaves a pass off to the side. Fans on the centering pass. And this one's going to be sent to the corner where it's taken away by Johnson. Once again, back to the point. Kept in at the blue line. They're just going to dump it in deep. Chase there by Valdron. He's being pressured by Watkins. Gets it back to Dane Johnson. Centering pass broken up by the Hogs. I think that was Parisi getting a stick on it. Plays it back behind the goal line. This is Johnson with it. Centering pass just over the stick of his man and out to center ice. And Arkansas gets a change once again with 18-20 left here in this first period. Good pressure by the Jayhawks early as they send this one back down the ice. Arkansas really needs to turn it back the other direction. 
As Kansas makes the change, Arkansas will look to break out of their zone. They do turn it over as Watkins gets it on the near side boards, looks to make a toe drag, gets it out in front, but runs in to Garrett Jackson. They get it out to center ice, dump back in. Arkansas unable to get any offensive zone pressure thus far. Marsh skates behind his own net, tries it up the left wing boards. They'll reverse ice now. This is Magnus. He'll send it to Everett along the side boards and back out to center ice. But once again, KU controls it there. They send it far side, carried into the zone, missing a check, but he does knock him off the feet, picked up now by Moore. He's got Everett and Jackson with him. He's going to dump it in past the red line, coming out of his net to play it as Ben Smith plays it off the boards, come, comes to the near side now. Corey Reese is there. He's going to put a body on a man, can't keep it in, and a one-on-one -on -one coming back the other way. This is Wazerstrom. He gets a shot away, but that one goes up and out of play. 17-23 left here in a scoreless first period. Well, I've already noticed Everett's moved down to the third checking line uh, tonight. I want to see how he works with Jackson and Moore. They've moved Branscombe up uh, to the top line with Suga Sawara. So uh, a little bit of change in the Arkansas lines, mixing it up and seeing what they can get. Yeah, Suga Sawara played a little bit of center yesterday instead of Deacon, and he'll win a faceoff here as Deacon tries to get it out. They finally do. Branscombe has it. He's got Odeline with him, who's just ahead of the play. Put his hat, head down for a minute to get ahead of steam. And just over the blue line first. No shots for either team here in this early going. Uh, kind of strange uh, that, you know, uh, KU got on the board early with some shots, and uh, Arkansas had to really recover. So good for Arkansas keeping them off the board. They just need some shots coming back the other way. I mean, Ryan versus Tilson in the face-off circle. And Ryan's going to win this one, but it's still loose. And chipped out to center ice. Coming back the other way is Wazerstrom. He'll skate it below the goal line. Poked away nicely by Odeline. He chips it off the boards. Finds Wheeler breaking out. Up the right side across the KU blue line. He dumps it in deep. Tries to get around a man. Good job sheltering him off as it comes in the near side boards. Corey Reese in deep. Only one defenseman back is Odeline. As a battle for the puck. Continues in the corner. A centering pass. Valentini tried to go back side on it. Good chance there for the Hawks. Couldn't get enough on it as KU breaks out. Now this one goes deep down the ice and our first icing call of the day. 16-35 left here in the first. Well, Arkansas needs to win the faceoff battle. It's something they didn't do so hot last night. Uh, they need to do a little bit better in the faceoff circle. Uh, Suga Sawar has done well here in the early going, uh, but uh, Arkansas is really going to need these faceoff wins to generate offensive pressure. And it's going to be Deacon taking this one. Still tied up in the skates. Finally taken out by Branscombe. Nice job there. He just plays it behind the net. Chased down by Ryan Smith. He does get a stick on it. Gets it ahead. A centering pass. Hits a few skates. And Pearson has to recover there. He'll send it back in front of his own net. Off the sideboards now to Olsen. Tries to get it out. They'll say it didn't clear the blue line. It's picked up now by Ryan. And he's going to skate it ahead. Good job by Deacon. Knocking him off the puck as Arkansas takes it over. This pass goes on net. With 16.05 left here in the period. KU makes a change. And they'll play it near side for Ryan Smith. He's got Deacon on him, tries to get it out. Held in by Suka Sawara. He's going to break in at the faceoff dot on the back end. Just shovels one off the side of the net. As it's picked up by Ryan Smith, he waits with it. Long cross-ice pass right to the stick of his man. And the centering pass broken up nicely by a back-checking. Baldron goes up and out of play. Well, technically that would have been your first shot in the game. Uh, <laughs> but uh, still no uh, legitimate chances for either team. Parisi. About to take the face off. And it's going to be won by Bachman. And McConnell has it on his stick, poked away. This one's sent into the zone for Palmer. The Arkansas captain takes it behind his own net. He'll look to skate ahead himself as he's pressured. They do get it out to center ice. But KU takes control. They're going to dump it in deep. Valdron chases it here. Manson bearing down on him, puts on the brakes. Valdron, nice spin move to shake his man. A cross ice pass from McLean bounces off of his stick and into the zone. It's going to be picked up by Steen. Steen circles behind his own net, creates a little space for himself. Pressured by Farinetta. Now pressured by McLean, circles back again. Farinetta tries to get in the way. Steen easily bypasses him. Pass to the near side. That's Bachman. Waits on it. Centering pass in front. Shot saved by Kalmus. Good pass and a good shot by McConnell, but good positioning there by the Arkansas goaltender. Well, McConnell gets them on the board in the shot column, either team, and it took five minutes to do so. A nice pass by Bogman out front. Arkansas, uh, you know, the back check needs to be a little bit better. They've been caught back a couple of times and have gotten lucky. Uh, that time they were almost not so lucky. Yeah, Steen caught him flat-footed, breaking out of the zone there. 
And his faceoff is won. And the high slide of shot is taken, but Everett able to get into the way of that. Steers it wide. Back to the point now for the Jayhawks. They'll play it down low. They'll try to reverse ice. Near side, Bachman chasing it down. Puts a body on Marsh. Knocks him off his skates. Back to the point. Steen sends it near side. Fisher gets a shot away. Misses the net wide. Puck bounces out in front, but cleared away by the Hogs to the sideboards. Says Jackson looking for Everett, breaking out just ahead of his stick. They're going to chase it down, and they're going to call the ice as the race to the puck was won by Fisher. 14-24 left here in the first. Smart move there by Fisher to slow up and make sure not to touch that puck before it reached the end line there. Arkansas with three block shots here early. Face off to the left of Kalmus. Brooks Moore tied up in the skates. Quick shot, save, rebound bounced up in the air, and Kalmus able to gather that one in his glove. Good face off win and a quick shot by Watkins. 14-19, Arkansas finally able to get a change after that ice. They'll get the Sukasawara. Deacon line back out there along with Branscombe. Another shot blocked in front by Reese and picked up by Deacon. He tries a pass, but off the shin guards of Watkins and the Jayhawks regain control. They'll send it D to D. Near side now, 14-05. Breaking into the zone. Carried by Fisher. Take a hip check from Reese. And Odeline gets it, sends it near side for Reese. Misses his stick. And it's going to be taken back by the Jayhawks. A nice play off the boards to himself by Dane Johnson. Sends it down low for Watkins. Centering pass off the back of the net. Reese with it now. Stick handling a bit. Tries to flip it out. Intercepted in front by Johnson. Picked up now by Engel. Engel with a sharp angle shot. Good blocker save by Kalmus. And another centering pass. This one's just going to be dove on by Kalmus as he lets his team regroup. Good pressure there by the Jayhawks. Jayhawks with the majority of chances. Jayhawks don't have any blocked shots, but that's because Arkansas hasn't even really put anything on net or anything close for KU to have to block. Face off one by the Jayhawks. They'll send it in deep, looking for Ryan. It's going to come near side, though. And Palmer is going to send it ahead to Wheeler, who sends it ahead to the KU defense. Out to center ice, regained by Arkansas. Baldron, long cross ice pass off the boards, looking for Wheeler, but it's taken away there by Olsen. Tied up on the near side boards, both teams trying to win this battle. Joined now by Tilson, and it's finally dumped in by KU. Coming out of his net is Kalmus to slow it up for Valdron. 13 minutes left here in the first. Good move by Tyler Valdron as he finds Wheeler on the near side boards. He's going to skate it out himself over the red line, dump it in. That took a weird bounce, almost went on net. As Smith plays it near side for Pearson. And they'll try to break out, and this one goes up and out of play. 12.48 left here in the first period. Whole lot of action down on this Arkansas defensive end. A lot of action, but Arkansas starting to shift that momentum back the other direction. The fact that they haven't given up a goal here is, is really the key for Arkansas. The early goals have killed them in the past. They've done a good job on the defensive end of only allowing one chance at a time and no more. Deacon to take the face off. Taken by Branscombe. Tried to make a move out in front. Just goes below the goal line. And they're going to send it to the defenseman, Valdron. Sends it off the boards. Picked up now by Ryan. Off the boards. Over the stick of Valdron. One-on-one coming back the other way. Olsen. He's got Palmer in front of him. Gets a shot away. And a good save by Kalmus. Dangerous play at the blue line there by Valdron. Had it bounce over a stick. And led to a chance on the other end for the Jayhawks. Arkansas an early lead in the, in the face-off circle. 5-4. That's yeah, interesting. When it's an offensive zone faceoff, they have Deacon taking it on this line. But here in the defensive zone, it's back to Sugasawara. And they're trying to keep a couple Jayhawks players out on the ice. Too late for a change is what yep. uh, Rodgers is saying. There's an allotted amount of time that you have to make a change, and KU didn't uh, do it in that allotted amount of time. And it's faceoff. Finally controlled by the Hawks, Sugasawara. Sends it ahead to Branscombe over the KU blue line. He's going to dump it in deep. He'll have to chase it down there as Deacon tries to get it, but it's played along by Brown in the near side boards. Flipped up and out of the ice. Gloved down by Marsh, but he fans on it. Able to regain control only long enough to dump it to the KU defense. 12-10 left here in the first. Scoreless game. Take it by Magnus off the board. Sugasawara pokes it ahead just ahead of Deacon. As Pearson will chase this one down, he'll put on the brakes behind his own goal line. Arkansas sits back, waits for a move. Long cross-ice pass, finds his man, and he finds McConnell breaking into the zone. Takes a quick shot, good kick save. 
by Kalmus as he steers it to the corner. KU controls it. They throw one through the crease. And it comes near side McConnell. Dumps it below the goal line. Looking for Bachman. That one is right in front of Kalmus. He didn't see it. He was still hugging that post. It sat right in front of his pad in the crease before he finally covers it up. 11.39 here in the period. Arkansas with another defensive zone faceoff. They'll get a change here as KU leaves their same line out there. Bachman at the center. Manson along with him. And McConnell. Arkansas does get the faceoff win. Corey Reese plays it far side. Oda line back to Reese behind his own goal. Got Farinetta on the wing. He'll give it to him. Outlet pass nicely to Parisi. Breaks it into the zone. He's forced to the outside. Puts on the brakes there. Finally does shovel it around the far side of the ice. Steen picks up there. Lazy pass is broken up by Arkansas. They finally do get it out. This is Bachman, the captain, skating ahead. Tries a pass to the outside. Poked away by Odeline. Back to the point now. One-timer. Couldn't get through traffic. Reese now with Manson in the corner. Reese takes a body. And the puck's still loose. Looks like it's on a KU stick as two of them hit the deck. Arkansas should come away with the puck, and they do with McLean, Farinet, and Parisi. Three on two coming back the other way, Parisi. Back to uh, McLean, back to Parisi. Couldn't handle it as it goes below the goal line. And KU centers it in front of their own net. Dangerous play there, and Steen will regroup. 10.43 left here in the period. Arkansas making a change. Nifty play there by McLean in front. It was too bad that Parisi couldn't handle that puck. As Steen skates it out, losing his edge, his angle. Steen gets it back, make a move in front. He hit the crossbar, no goal. And McLean comes out the other way with it, and he's going to have a breakaway. Oh, great job by the defender there. He does get a shot away. Uh, hit with a high stick. They're going to wave this off as KU touches it up. Good chance there for the Hogs. As Fisher was trying to shelter his man off, but good strong play by Arkansas to actually get a shot away on that. Everett intercepts a pass. He's just going to dump it in deep. And this one comes back out to center ice. Palmer's just going to dump it in. Arkansas will have to chase it here as it's on the stick of Fisher. Backhand pass. Jess comes over the blue line. Palmer dumps it in again. Saw a bit of this last night, a little ping pong action. Garrett Jackson takes a big hit in the corner. And it's picked out by Arkansas. Jackson got a shot away. Kick save. Rebound was there for Everett. Didn't want the backhand shot. Pulls it back. Takes a wrister. Block shot in front as Arkansas gets it back again. And Moore has a lot of room. Pass across the crease. And he couldn't get a shot on it. Great job on the back door by the KU defender. And carried into the zone. No, And they finally do call an offside on that. And it looks like we have a delayed penalty on Arkansas. And it's going to be a hooking. I think Everett looks like the guilty one. And he'll jump on the bench instead. We'll see who they pull off. Looks like Valdron. Yeah, that's a tough play for Arkansas to take here. They were starting to get the momentum coming back the other way. They have two shots here early in the period as opposed to the five shots that have been taken on the other end. A lot more chances, though. Four block shots for Arkansas thus far in this game. And... Uh, uh, you know, that means that they've blocked four chances for KU, whereas KU only has the one block shot so far. And Arkansas will go on the penalty kill for the first time tonight. And this is a potent power play for Kansas. As they play it near side, Bachman, center of the ice now, Johnson. He tries a pass to the outside to Manson. Near side, McConnell bounces over his stick. Odeline chasing it down in the corner. Couldn't get enough on it. Still in the corner, McConnell tried a backhand pass. Finally do get it near side, back to the point. Bachman, top of the circle. Pass it low. This is Dane Johnson, dangerous with a puck on his stick. Steps out, face-offs. Dot, now to McConnell. Looking to make a pass. Looking, they finally do. Not close enough to get a shot away. Back to the point now, Steen. He'll leave it off. Manson, near side now. Bachman, sharp angle, looking to make a pass. Looking, looking, finally does get a cross ice Shot saved by Kalmus as Dane Johnson got the shot away, but Kalm is in position to stop that one. Johnson had three goals and an assist last night. Kalm is getting over and making the save there. They're going to need a lot more of that tonight. Yeah, Arkansas can't let him sit right in the slot like that. They're just letting them sit back and try to pick their shots. And they're picking them apart right now. Big face off here, and it's won by KU. They get it back to the point. Pearson tries to dump it in. Up and out of play into the Arkansas bench. 109 left on Valdron's hooking penalty. 828 
left here in the first period. Kansas catching back up in the faceoff column, seven to six now. Arkansas had a three faceoff lead there for a second. Arkansas just 77% on the penalty kill this year. Where Kansas scores on nearly 40% of theirs. Turned over in front, Brooks Moore thought about a shot, but instead he's knocked off his feet and there's gonna be a delayed penalty. And they finally do call it, it's a high stick. And Arkansas's gonna have four on four for the next 58 seconds before they enjoy a 102 power play. Looks like Pearson going into the box. The Mato Midai native. And we got four on four hockey. 8-16 left in the period. Face off goes to the sideboards. Finally picked up by Bachman for KU. He's going to put on the Jets. He leaves one to the outside. Centering pass broken up nicely by Odeline. Bachman. Forcing a man off the puck. He's thrown into the boards by Reese as Dane Johnson takes a hip check as well. Good physical play in the corner by the Hogs as Reese pokes it up to the near side. McLean just out of his reach. Comes back out to center ice. 33 seconds left to four on four. Carried in by KU. Tries to step in front and loses the puck. Taken by McLean now. He's got Parisi intercepted by Dane Johnson. And he's going to go to the outside. He'll wisely pull off as he was outmanned. Picked up now by Steen. He'll skate it back. He's got some room in front of him. Tries to step in, gets a shot, look to pick an upper corner of that net. But instead, he hits the netting surrounding this Jones Center Arena. And we'll get a face off in the Arkansas zone. 11 seconds left on Valdron's penalty before Arkansas goes on the power play. Yeah, and Arkansas will get just over a minute on the power play, barring, uh, well, they should get a, a minute on the power play here. Uh, Arkansas, not, not great on the power play either. Uh, they could really use some help there. 31.6%, pretty good. Uh, but in ACHA hockey, uh, it needs to be a little bit better to make the top 100. Face off one, sent back to Bachman, gets a shot through, kick save. Good job clearing the rebound by Kalmus. As McConnell picks this up for the Jayhawks. Sent it near side, Watkins. Gets a quick shot away, another save by Kalmus. And no rebound on this one. And Arkansas is on the power play for the next minute. As we have 7-16 left here in the first period. This hometown crowd getting behind the Hogs as they enjoy a man advantage. Face off one by McConnell. Picked up by Watkins. Nice move in front. Gets a shot away. Blocked by Valdron. And they get it out to the blue line. Can't control it as Valdron finally picks it out. Two on one coming back the other way. Valdron across to Branscombe. Back behind his uh, stick. And he's able to kick it to the corner. As Watkins takes it back over for the Jayhawks. Sends it over the stick of Palmer. Mc McConnell lifts his stick. He's got Deacon with him. And he gets a shot away. Good shoulder save by Kalmus. Taken now by Valdron. Cross ice pass and a big hit at center ice. Breaks him up. And KU takes it back. 26 seconds left on the Arkansas power play. Might get one more rush out of it as Palmer sets up behind his own net. He likes to skate it himself if given the opportunity. This time he does across the blue line. Forced to the outside, takes a hit. Keeps control of the puck. Centering pass, looking for Suga Sawara. It's back to Valdron. Seven seconds left. Valdron gets a shot up in the air. And glove down behind the net by KU. They'll send it near side. McConnell, Branscombe, trying to force him off the puck as they do get it. Cross ice, back to five on five. Hockey 6-11 left here in the period. And this one comes to the Arkansas zone. Valdron flips this one up and out of play. Good penalty kill by the Hogs to start that rush. And then uh, really not able to get set up in the offensive zone once they got the power play. I'm not as worried about getting set up as, as on that two-on-one, that pass behind Branscombe. Uh, really kills momentum. And with Arkansas needs shots. They only have three thus far in this period. Uh, <laughs> and uh, McConnell himself has four. So if that tells you anything about how this game is going, Arkansas is lucky that it's 0-0 still. Farinetta able to get it in deep for Arkansas. Puts a big hit onto the corner as Parisi's chasing it down. But KU is going to get it out of the zone. Odeline breaks it up nicely, cleared the delayed offsides. Time to chase now for McLean, but this one sent back out to center ice. Odeline's going to step up on it. Tries to get it in the zone. Glove down by Brown, and he's going to dump it in deep, and they're going to call an ice on this one, and Arkansas will get an offensive zone faceoff with 5.36 left here in the period and a chance to try to get on the board first. And we stress the, uh, uh, we stress the importance of offensive zone time for either team, and Kansas has had the majority of it here. Arkansas needs to win this faceoff, get set up, and get a couple of good shots. Parisi to take the faceoff. Can't win it, but McLean 
trying to win a battle for it in the corner. Parisi's there with him. He takes a hit, and it's taken away nicely by Wazerstrom. Farinetta puts a shoulder on him. Still a battle for the puck. Wazerstrom able to force his way into the zone. And this one comes behind the goal line as Reese tries to poke it ahead to Farinetta. Comes back to the point. Quick shot blocked by Parisi. Picked up now by Odeline. He's going to send it off the glass. Glove down by KU. Odeline off the glass again. This one comes out to center ice. Five minutes left here in this opening frame. Arkansas gets a change. And skating it ahead is Fisher. Makes a move off the skate of Reese in front. And they clear it to the sideboard. Aiden Everett picks it up there. Puts on the brakes. Tries to find Reese. It's in his skates. Finally picked up now by Everett. Skates it in. Gets a shot away. Sails wide of the net. Picked up now by Jackson. Jackson tried to step out in front. Good job by Fisher to clear that aside. Off the boards. And this one up and out of play. And Arkansas gets another offensive zone faceoff. 4.32 left here in the first. It's still 0-0 where it matters on the scoreboard. Yeah, I think Arkansas really disheartened last night, giving up those two quick goals. And Kalmus has looked real strong tonight. Moore in there to take the face off. Bachman comes away with it, though. As Steen picks it up behind his own net. He's got Moore on him. Spins around, plays it off the back of the net. He'll have to pick it up himself. Finally does leave it below the goal line for Ryan Smith. He loses the puck there. Arkansas trying to take it away. Everett in there along with Moore. And KU's going to win the battle. Looks like Bachman, the captain, skating out. Left-handed stick up the right wing board. Steps out in front. Gets a pass in front. Manson tried to pull it to his backhand. Just lost it. One stick handle too many sometimes. As Marsh tries to get a man off the puck. This one bounds out in front. Taken by Moore. Poked away by Bachman in the corner. Magnus chased it down there. He'll send it off the boards. Kept in nicely at the blue line by Ryan Smith. And Marsh will have to gather it up for the Hogs. He's got it there. Being pressured by Manson. Spins it off. As Manson puts a body of him. Magnus gets this out to center ice. Skated ahead by Jackson. He's content to dump it in and change. 3.30 left here in the period. Wheeler picks it up in the corner. Wheels it around. Picked up now by Tilson. Still tied up in the skates. Finally taken out by Tilson. He has it poked away from him by Fisher. Valentini, a no-look pass intercepted by Watkins. Nicely poked away by Palmer. Valdron's going to send this one down the ice. Out of his net to play it is Ben Smith. Haven't said his name in a while, unfortunately, for the Hogs. As they battle for it in the far side corner. Taken out by Arkansas. This is Tilson. Gets it tied up in his skates. Little sloppy play from Arkansas as KU comes back the other way. Centering pass to Steen. Gets a shot away. Good save by Valdron. Steers it aside. Picked up now by Wheeler. Three on two the other way. Wheeler loses it at the red line. Need to get this ice cleaned up in between periods. As KU sends it ahead, Dane Johnson tried to chip it ahead to himself on the bad pass, but Valdron will take it ahead instead. Carried into the blue line. Tried a centering pass. Got a shot away. I like the idea, but a good save by Smith. No rebound given up as Deacon was bearing down on him. 2.36 left here in a scoreless first. Baldwin led the team in shots last night. Six for Baldwin of their 33 shots. Uh, it was pretty even in the shot column last night, but Arkansas wasn't able to get on the board as much because they didn't have as many quality chances. KU very good at shutting those down in the defensive zone. Face off one by the Jayhawks. They're just going to flip out of the zone. Chase down by Odeline. Cross ice pass Reese. He sends it ahead off the stick of Branscombe. Couldn't handle it. Bounces out in front. Battle for the puck. Gloved down by Branscombe. And he gets it out to Sukasawara. Cross ice pass. Deacon just has to chip it into the zone and chase it down with Fisher. Putting on the brakes in the corner. Battling for it there. Both teams trying to dig it out. We talked about the loose puck battles. And Arkansas comes away with it. Sukasawara centering pass to nobody. But Branscombe tried to step in front. Good defensive play as it's taken away by Olsen. He's going to dump it in, but takes a body from Reese for his efforts. Old line with it now with just under two minutes to play. Puts on the brakes. Near side Reese. Back to Old line. Trying to create a little bit of space here. Chips it. Near side Reese. Back and forth. Centering pass. This one chipped up and out of play. And Arkansas unable to break out of the zone. 142 left here in the first. Looks like this faceoff will be at center ice. Arkansas gets the Parisi line out there. It'll be up against Bachman. And it's won by KU. Pearson cross-ice pass. Now up to McConnell. 
Near side, they're just going to dump it in, chase it down. It's going to be Manson far side. He's got Bachman and McConnell with him. Sends it back to the point instead. Pearson got a lot of room. Block shot in front. Might have hit Bachman. As he sends it, tries to send it down low. But three Arkansas defenders in there trying to break this up. And it's sent below the goal line for McConnell instead. Centering pass. Bounces over the stick. Back to the point. Pearson. Near side pass. Bachman sends it back below the goal line. Wanting the puck back. But instead controlled there. It's like McConnell. They'll send it back to the point. That's Pearson. Back to McConnell. And it's chipped out of the zone nicely by Parisi with just under a minute to play. McConnell retreats to his own zone. Leaves it near side. Pearson. They'll send it near side. Bachman now carries it into the zone. He's got a couple men with him. Sends it ahead to Manson. And Manson will have to gather it in there. Trying to shelter more off of him. Centering pass just off the stick. Still loose out in front. Couldn't get the turnaround shot as Arkansas breaks this up. McLean coming back the other way. Farinetta with him. McLean makes a move to the outside. Puts on the brakes. Circles around. Looking to make a cross ice pass just over the stick. Back to the point now for Valdron. Gets a shot away. Blocker save. And a punch in front. And they're going to blow the whistle on this. A little scuffle in front of the net. I think that was McLean in there. Took a blocker to the back of the head from Smith. The ref watching it the whole time. Didn't see his arm go up. Not sure if they're going to call anything on this or not. That's Farinetta that they're pulling out of the net. If they take Farinetta and nobody else. Uh, okay, they got two of them. It's going like, to be coincidental. Uh, yeah, here. I hope so. We'll see who they uh, charge the penalty to for KU. That's, it's going to be I don't Pearson, know what Farinetta's Pearson gonna, in the box. Well, Pearson's Farinetta in the well. box. It might be Smith's penalty, though. Yeah. It, he, he, he put the blocker to him. Yeah, it was a battle in front. We'll and Farinetta got pushed in into the goal, into the crease, really. Took a few punches from the, the KU defender, or the goaltender. And they got Pearson's number up on the board. So they'll call coincidental minors on them with 17.2. Left here in the first period. We got some four on four action. I think Cam got got cobbed on that one. Oh yeah, he he was just in front trying to battle for the puck and got shoved into the goalie and took punches from all angles. And this one is going to be sent down the ice by KU. It's going to be chased down and an icing called. Ten seconds left. Plenty of time to set something up here for Arkansas. You got a four on four. There's a little more ice. You're in the offensive zone. Just don't get beat by the speed of Kansas back, and you should be all right here to end the period. Only five shots for Arkansas on this first so far. I'd like them to see you get a sixth or maybe even a seventh right so here. Sobasara wins it. Fanning on the shot was Valdron with six seconds, and it's going to be a hooking call on Valdron. Unfortunate. He fanned on the shot, was beaten. And KU trying to come back the other way, and Arkansas turned a good four-on-four four situation into a four-on-three for the remaining four seconds of this period. Well, that, that is about the worst-case scenario for Arkansas. That's unfortunate. So they'll keep Sugasawara, Deacon, and Reese out on the ice, face off. Is won by the Hogs. They'll tie it up in the corner as Deacon just pokes it there, and the buzzer will blow on this period. A minute 43 left on the four on four. A minute 57 left on Valdron's penalty. So Arkansas will come out really behind the eight ball once again, even though this score is tied. Yeah, Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas looks like they just lost the period. It's 0 0, but you wouldn't know it the way they're hanging their heads going to the locker room. They don't feel like they got the majority of the calls here in the period, and they may be right, but you can't let that affect you. You got to be able to keep your head up. You got to be able to play strong. They're going into the second period, which uh, by all accounts was their worst period last night, giving up two goals, not scoring one. Uh, was definitely their worst period of the three that they had last night. So hopefully tonight uh, they can make those adjustments that they need to make in the locker room. Uh, I'd like to see that Tilson line back out there a little bit more for the Hogs going into the second period. Uh, that line works very hard, and they've shown that they can hang with Kansas, and they're giving their top guys a break. So if that Tilson-Valentini line can get out there a couple of more times, uh, you know, I would I would really like to see that, especially uh, as we head into the latter stages of the period. Kalmus looking sharp tonight after giving up two early goals to start the game last night. He's got his team in this game. So we'll be back in about 15 minutes for the call of that second period. Arkansas and Kansas tied at zero.
Welcome back to the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, as we get set for the second period of action between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Kansas University Jayhawks. This one vastly different than last night's game. Kansas jumped out to an early 2-0 lead last night. Today, we come into the second period scoreless. Arkansas definitely would count that as a win, I would think, when you're looking at the scoreboard. But looking at the stat sheet, it really tells a different story, EJ. Yeah, it really does. I mean, Arkansas won seven of the first 11 faceoffs, but then dropped nine of the last 11 faceoffs of the period. They're down 13 to nine in the faceoffs, down 10 to five in the shots, and they have five block shots of their own to Kansas' one block shot. So if, if you're looking at that, I mean, that means Kansas has had 15 chances to just six for Arkansas, and Arkansas's chances really haven't been that great. A couple of shots from the point from Baldwin uh, here and there, uh, but uh, Arkansas really needs to get back uh, into the into the fighting spirit here. It's going to be kind of tough, though, with a four-on-three to start this second period and a long one to boot. Yeah, it'll be difficult, but I think Alex Kalmus is really up for the challenge. He's looked much better tonight. Really didn't look bad last night. Just a lot of pressure from this Kansas offense and Arkansas's defense really didn't help him out by keeping the puck out of their defensive zone. Uh, and they'll look to do that here in the second period. But like you said, starting out four on three, even when they had a four on four, it's just a, a little bit of, uh, you know, a, a mistake by Valdron. And uh, turns out he actually got a 10 minute misconduct on that as well after that hooky penalty. So he'll be sitting down a little bit longer than anticipated. The local boy, Tucker Higgins will be serving it for him. The two minutes. Arkansas in their gray jerseys, moving from right to left. Kansas in red, moving from left to right in this long change second period. As we are underway, Kansas controls the puck behind their own net. Ice still a little bit wet from the cleaning. As Steen plays it ahead, this is Dane Johnson. Johnson back to the point now, finds Steen. Held there, Bachman near side. Bachman plays it down low. Steps out in front, pass broken up nicely by Arkansas. This is Odeline, tries to stick lift a man, misses it, out of position now, picked up by Johnson. He'll leave it off for Bachman. He's got Reese in front of him. Good blocker save there by Kalmus. Clears it to the far side boards, held by Steen. Top of the circle now, down low. Setting up the box here, switching sides. Now off Bachman skate to his stick. Bachman circles around, being pressured by Deacon, plays it near side, pass goes through the crease. As Engel was looking to get a pass across. Played down low now. Johnson back up to Bachman. Pinching down low. Far side, Steen. Just circling around. Finally passed down low. Hugging the post. Instead, Johnson skates it below. Off the side of the net. And cleared aside. Picked up once again. Carries in front. Dane Johnson fakes a shot. Puts on the brakes. Misses the net wide. And rebound picked up once again. Back to the point. Bachman gets a shot away. Just missed the wide open net. That's going to be taken by Steen. Pass across to Bachman. Steps up top of the circle. Got a lane. Tries to pick a corner. Blocker save by Kalmus. 18-33 left in the period. 15 seconds left of the first penalty. Steps out in front. Good poke check away by Kalmus. Stymies another chance. The crowd getting behind their goaltender. Dane Johnson. Pass across. One-timer and scores. What a shot. Good pass by Johnson and Steen is able to bury it for the first goal of the game, and this will go down as a power play goal. 18-20 to play here in the second, and the Jayhawks strike first. Valiant effort there by the Hogs, though. They, did, they looked pretty good uh, for the majority of that four-on-three, able to get back in position. That's really what it's about, is being able to rotate effectively when you're down a man like that. But uh, uh, just too much space on the ice for these KU skaters to skate. A lot of opportunities. Arkansas couldn't clear the puck, and that really turned out poor for them. That'll be four on four. For three seconds. Um, yeah, I think they took the wrong penalty off, but that's all right. right. It'll expire here. Yeah, they haven't started the clock yet. Finally do, as this is pushed into the offensive zone for Arkansas. Poked off the stick of Sukasawara. Comes out in front. Marsh gets a quick shot away. Save. Rebound loose in front. Cleared aside as Moore was trying to get to it. Couldn't win the race, though. They'll control it below the goal line. Forcing a few players off the puck. Finally shoved into the boards hard. Tries a wraparound into the padding of Smith. Good attempt there by Sukasawara as we are back to five-on-five five action. Arkansas with a chance to score. 17.56 left here in the second. KU with a 1-0 lead. The guy manning the penalty box down there didn't let the Arkansas player out for an extra 20 seconds. 
after they let the KU player on the ice. It was five on four. I was waving my hands <laughs> trying to get them out of the box. Arkansas might have had another opportunity. This face-off is won by KU. They flip it up, kept it nicely at the blue line, stepping in front, Suka Sawara, pass off, pass across the Branscombe, just under his stick. Good passing, but couldn't quite put it home as Palmer keeps this in at the blue line, picked up now by Fisher. Off the near side boards, looking for Watkins. He does get it out of the zone, but it's chased down by Suka Sawara, plays a far side marsh. Back to Suka Sawara. He's going to skate it ahead himself. He's got Watkins in front of him, tries to bypass a man, but this is Dane Johnson, picks it up himself. No offside, and he's just going to wheel it around the far side of the board. Picked up now by, looks like Angle. Angle back to the point, finds his man. The shot goes wide off the skate of Palmer. Picked up by KU. Held now, this is Watkins with it. He circles around. Back to Watkins. Outside hash, Arkansas sitting back. Shot saved by Kalmus. This cleared to the sideboards, taken by Palmer. He's going to try it near side now. Branscombe, he's got a man bearing down on him. Angle pushes him into the boards. Comes out to Johnson. Johnson in front. Tries a pass off. Saved by Kalmus. Rebound saved again. Finally diving on the loose puck is Kalmus as we got some pushing and shoving in front. Good awareness by the Arkansas goaltender to keep this a one-goal game. A lot of shots by Kansas here in the second period. Arkansas, though, doing pretty well. Otherwise. Yeah, Kansas set up there like they were on the power play, able to move the puck back and forth. Arkansas content to just sit back and let a pass. They need to be a little bit more aggressive in the defensive zone. As they win this faceoff, they do get it out of the zone, but dump back in. Where Arkansas recovers. Reese off the board to Odelon. Back off the boards to Reese, trying to create a little bit of space for themselves. Near side, Odelon. He'll play it off the boards to himself. And finally flip it out to center ice. Good pressure by KU as McLean is going to win the race to this puck. He's going to get it into the corner before he's cut off by a few Jayhawks players. Picked up once again by McLean. He's got recent front, finds him one-timer. Shot, score! What a pass by McLean and Corey Reese. Just got the one-timer, hit a few skates in front and able to find the back of the net and gets the equalizer with 16-12 left here in the period. Gets this crowd on their feet. Beautiful pass by McLean. Hard work to get to that puck to null the icing. Looked like Ar uh, Arkansas wasn't going to have much of a chance there. He was one on four, able to hold on to the puck. Skates behind the goal line, passes one out front, and Reese just waiting right there. Gets the lucky bounce off the pads of the goaltender, and Arkansas is on the board here. They'll look to continue that momentum as Kansas wins his face off, breaks out of their zone. Pass ahead to Bachman. Poked away nicely, but picked up by Manson. Shot off the crossbar. And another shot saved, and they throw it in front. This one, high stick out of the zone. And it doesn't look like they're going to call it as McLean picks it up, has it poked away from him nicely by Brown. He's going to send it off the near side boards, out to center ice as Bachman plays it ahead, but it's taken away by Odeline. McLean is going to be the first one to this puck. He dumps it in, ducks under a check. They'll have to chase it down as Brown gets a puck on his stick near side Manson. Comes back out front, kept in by Moore momentarily as it's finally taken out. And carried in by McConnell. Gets a shot away, but it goes wide of the net. McLean shoves one ahead as Everett loses his stick. He's going to four-check anyways. And skating out of the zone into Jayhawk player Manson. He runs into his own man. And a big hit there by McLean, but it's picked up by McConnell. He steps out to the center of the ice. Far side now, centering pass, looking for Fisher just off his stick as Bachman switches places. The defenseman down and low. A nice pass in front. McConnell misses the net wide. Glove side. And it's going to be Aiden Everett trying to chase this one down. And a man hits the deck. That was McConnell, looks like, on the ice. He gets back to his feet. It's both teams battle for the puck here. A big hit up high as Moore is down on the ice. Picked up by Steen. Steen skates it below the goal line. Looks to make a centering pass. Nice job poking it away by Odeline. They do get a shot away. Blocked in front by Odeline. Puck into the corner. Moore back on his feet as Palmer plays it off the boards for Odeline. He's got McLean ahead. He's going to try to flip one out of the air, stick down, and just thrown into the zone. But this one goes up and out of play as Everett was just trying to get it into the zone for a change. That was a big hit, maybe up a little bit high, right in front of the KU bench. Fans unhappy with uh, no call on more hit. It looked clean. He got hit a little high. Um, just he fell a little awkwardly, and I 
think the fans at least wanted a stoppage right there, but they're not going to get one when KU has the puck in the offensive zone. His face off at center ice. One back to Steen for the Jayhawks. He'll send it cross ice. This one long pass ahead, gloved down by Deacon. He dumps it into the zone, but it's taken away nicely by Watkins. Back to Steen, 14-12 left here in the second. Soft pass ahead to Dane Johnson, takes a hit, but he does get it into the zone. And this one played off the boards, but Johnson gets a quick shot away off the side of the net. Steered below the goal line now by Kalmas, picked up by the Jayhawks, centering pass, broken up by Reese. Battling hard, finally do get a pass out to the point, taken there by Pearson, sends it down low. They'll cycle it off. And Deacon tries to put a body on Dane Johnson, does get the puck away from him. But KU battling hard. Off the near side board, so far side, Arkansas still trying to get out of their own zone, having some trouble. They finally do get a lane. It's going to be carried out by Branscombe. Puts a move on a man, steps out in front, circle, tried to centering pass Suga Sawara. Broken up and steered below, below the goal line as Steen shelters off the hit from Suga Sawara, who's still pressuring him. Finally shakes him. As Steen puts it off the boards to himself, skates it across the red line, Arkansas blue line, and into the zone. Finally takes a hit there from Reese, knocks him off the puck, and Arkansas will pick this one up here with Suga Sawara. He's going to skate it out himself, leaves it ahead for Wheeler. Wheeler makes a move in front, just out ahead of him, does get a shot away, steered aside, rebound, couldn't be put on net. This one comes back out to the point, Palmer. Palmer thought about a shot, steps in, takes a shot, deflected in the front, rebound, saved by Smith, oh, and he finally pokes there. it in, he called it oh, off. No. Oh, the puck was sitting right on the doorstep no. as Tilson put it into the net. That is a that is a bad call. You see a lot of times where the referee loses the side of the puck and blows a whistle, but that never happens when he's on the same side of the net where the puck is. He was looking right at that puck when he blew that whistle. Unfortunate break for the Hogs, but... That's the way it goes. Arkansas with a good chance, good pressure. I like what I see, what I'm seeing from them here in this second period. Palmer gets his first shot of the game through the traffic. Tilson on the rebound had a couple of opportunities. The second one was blown dead as it would have went into the goal. McLean steps out in front. This shot chipped up high. Finally falls below the goal line. They'll play it off the near side boards. Palmer gets it. He plays it off the glass. Goes in deep. Slowed down by Fisher. Takes a body from Farinetta, but it's going to be picked up by Ryan. He's got McLean on him, makes a move into the Arkansas zone, takes a shot, misses it wide, might have gone off the skate of Odeline. And it's picked up once again by Ryan. And a centering pass broken up nicely by Odeline. He's going to play one ahead to McLean. McLean's going to skate it himself across the blue line, top of the circle, gets a wrist shot away, and an easy save for Smith as it hit him right in the chest. And both teams will get a change here with 12.08 left here in the second one to one game. You know, the fans, you're not going to forget that moment when you almost had the go-ahead goal. It would have been their first lead of the weekend. But if you're Arkansas, you need to forget it very quickly. The whistle had blown the play dead. You need to move on. Face off to the right of Smith is won by Arkansas. Back to the point. This is Reese with it. He's just going to play it off the boards. Gets it down low. Back out to the point. Jackson gives the puck away this one off the boards nice pass ahead to Manson he's got a man far side with him Manson with it saucer pass in front makes a move and scores what a move might have been Preston McConnell great pass by Manson as soon as it hit his stick he immediately went to the backhand deke and he beats Kalmus and Kansas regains the lead Really unfortunate for Arkansas. All the momentum going your way. You're getting all the chances down in the KUN. Next thing you know, a breakout the other way. We talked about it earlier. Your four check can't break down like that where they have three on one with a back checker for Arkansas like that. It could have made it three on two, but by that time it was too late, and they get an easy pass in front, and Kalmus just doesn't have any chance in the world. Kansas, long pass ahead into the zone. And a quick shot steered aside by Kalmus. And Reese pokes this one to himself off the near side boards. Looking for Suka Sawara. Kept in and puck tipped in front. And a save by Kalmus. Corey Reese plays it near side. Suka Sawara. And it's taken away by Kansas. Passes out in front. This is McConnell again. Shoots and scores. What a snipe. Beats him high. Stick side. And Kansas takes a two goal lead. Good pressure by the Jayhawks and Arkansas. Just reeling here. Not great. 
two goals within 30 seconds of each other by Preston McConnell. He's got eight shots already and two goals. The game has now switched from stopping Dane Johnson to stopping Preston McConnell, who is a very prolific goal scorer for this KU team. McConnell all time with a lot of goals. Face-off one by KU. It's going to be broken up at center ice and a high sticking. They're going to get the call on that one. As that one came up and under the chin guard of Palmer. 11.30, or excuse me, 11.09 left here in the second period. And Arkansas goes on their power play. They'll need to win some face-offs, though, if they need to get control in this offensive zone. They're going to have McLean, Parisi, Farinetta. Odeline and Palmer will be facing off against Bachman, Engel, Ryan, and Steen. Two minutes on the board. And face off. Still loose. Finally taken away by KU. They get it out to the blue line. And it's going to be gloved ahead by Bachman. He does get it into the zone. He puts on the brakes there. And he's going to send it back to his defender. Nice play there as Steen controls it in his own zone. Farinetta bearing down on him. Finally sent all the way down the ice. Slowed up by Kalmus. It's going to be held by Palmer, the captain. Sends one near side off the boards. Odeline tried to play it ahead, but this one dumped back into the zone. A minute 30 left on the power play. Arkansas unable to get in the offensive zone yet. Palmer, far side, finds Parisi. Parisi just skates right into a KU player. Finally poked ahead by Palmer. Chips it ahead onto the stick of a Jayhawks player. It's going to be gloved down at center ice. And coming the other way is Engel. He makes a move, looking for a shorthanded goal. Circles behind the net instead. And they're just going to be content to kill more time off this penalty. As Engel is just skating around the ice all by himself, finally knocked off of his feet. And it's going to be picked up by Palmer, Arkansas. Needs to have a little bit more urgency here as McLean skates it ahead. He steps out in front. Good uh, kick save there by Steen. Clears it to the corner. And the Jayhawks send this one all the way down the ice again. 44 seconds left on the power play for the Hogs. 9.50 left here in the second period. Up the right side boards now by Branscombe. He's going to be hit and knocked off the puck and taken back by KU. They'll play a near side for Steen. Sukasawara able to get a stick on it, slow it up, and he has it now. Sends it far side, and it's kept in nicely by Odeline. Across the ice to Reese. Just out of the reach of Deacon. Picked up now by Branscombe. He's got Reese at the point. Looks at him. Does give him the puck. Reese with it. Sends it down low. Deacon. Top of the circle now looking. Finally. Sends it off to Reese. Down low. Puts on the brakes. Reverses ice. Sugasawara off his skate. Back to Deacon at the point. Finally back to five on five. And come back the other way is Manson. And he's got Watkins with him. Cross ice pass. Finds his man. Wrist shot. Saved by Kalmus. Steers it aside. And they'll play it off the near side boards, pinching in. Is the defender Fisher, but poked ahead to himself by Branscombe. He's got some room in front of him, makes a move, pinched in between two defenders, and a good defensive play there by the Jayhawks to break up that rush as Manson takes the referee down, but he leaves a backhand pass off for Steen, takes it into the zone, puts the brakes on, but continues ahead, tries the centering pass, broken up by Marsh. Still with a puck on his stick is Steen. Skates it to the blue line. Five-on-five five hockey centering pass just under the stick of Johnson. Wasn't ready for that puck. Now to Fisher. He'll send it to the far side corner. Reese fighting for the puck there. He tries to send it ahead to Jackson. Still unable to get it out of the zone. It's picked up by Johnson. High slot to redirected shot in front. And this one is sent all the way down the ice for an icing. Good pass by Johnson as Manson wasn't able to bury that goal. A good save by Kalmus, but Arkansas... On their heels late in the second period, 8.07 to play. It's time for Arkansas to really dig deep here. I mean, they need a fighting spirit. They haven't had too many games this year where they were down. So, you know, last night, I think a shot for them taking that 5-1 loss. Now you're down 3-1 in the second period again. What are you going to do? How are you going to fight back? Kept in at the blue line. KU dumps it in deep. Chasing it down now is Weiserstrom. Still a battle for it behind the net. Kalmus watching closely. A big hit by Jackson as he gets a puck on his stick. Still can't get it anywhere close to the blue line. As they finally gain control of the puck. Jackson, nice pass ahead, finds Everett. Everett makes a move to the backhand, gets a shot away. But a good job getting in front of that as Max Brown goes up and out of play. 
Arkansas just really not playing with any intensity. Yeah, and I, that's that's exactly what I'm saying. Arkansas, they've been ahead in a bunch of games this year. They need to find a way to dig deep right now. I mean, Arkansas's, Arkansas looks lethargic out there. They're not hustling for the loose pucks, and those are things that they need to do if they're going to stay in this game and potentially win it. Good move by McLean. Block shot in front by Ryan Smith. Near side boards taken away and skated out by Max Brown. He'll send one ahead. Finds his man up the left wing. Carried in by Olsen. Looking for a centering pass. A nice hit by Palmer. Breaks that up. And a hit now by Parisi. Excuse me, that was fair net on the hit as Palmer finds McLean near side. He's got some room in front of him and a man behind him. McLean makes a move, loses the puck to the corner. He'll regain control there. Tries the centering pass. This one came out in front, but no one home for the Hogs. It's going to be picked up by Valdron. Back out on the ice after his 10-minute misconduct. Taken by McLean. Sends it far side. Palmer, top of the circle, fanned on the shot. And it's going to be taken away by the Jayhawks. They're going to send this one down the ice, and Arkansas will get the ice call with 6.42 left here. In the second period, they trail by two as Kansas leads 3-1. to one. you got to get it on the stick of your playmakers, and that's what Arkansas is trying to do right there. McLean, one of the better playmakers that has emerged for this D3 team. Baldron as well. Those are the guys you're going to need handling the puck here in the latter stages of the second period if they're going to respond with a goal before we go into the intermission. Yeah, it looks like they're just playing with two lines right now. That Subasawara line. Really haven't seen much of uh, Tilson. Wheeler, Valentini. So maybe some tired legs for the Hogs as Odeline gets a shot blocked in front by Wazerstrom. And this one's going to be taken by McConnell. He's got a man streaking. He'll take it himself instead. Across the blue line, finds Bachman, far side. Top of the circle, centering pass, hit a, a leg in front. Comes back out to center ice with 6.24 to play. Outlet pass, broken up by Arkansas. They clear the offside. Taken now by Deacon. Sukasawara in front tried to find him, but really didn't have a passing lane. Sukasawara picks it up on his stick, takes a hit. And it's still a battle for the puck. Taken out by Bachman. He's going to skate it out himself. He's got Odeline and Reese in front of him. Pass from McConnell is just ahead. As Reese gets it on his stick, takes a hit from Bachman. But Reese gets the puck back, a battle for it. Kicking it along. Gets it ahead to Branscombe. Nice pass ahead. Finds a stick of Sukasawara who skates it into the zone. He's going to send one in front, steered aside by Smith. And Arkansas, unable to keep it in at the blue line, shoveled ahead to Manson. He's got Engel with him. Manson finds Engel in front. Great job by Tilson to stick that out of the air as that saucer pass was heading for the open man in front. Fight for it in the corner. Bounce off of his stanchion, comes back out. Centering pass broken up by Tilson. He's got Branscombe and Sukasawara with him. Carried in, Tilson. Drop pass, wasn't ready for it there. Dangerous play as Arkansas was in the middle of a change. Lucky, Lucky they didn't get called for too many men. <laughs> About eight players on the ice for Arkansas momentarily. As the Hogs dump it in deep, Smith comes out to play this. 5-0-5 left here in the second. A big hit there by Wheeler. This comes back out to Valdron. Valdron not able to get a shot through the traffic. Broken up by Fisher. He'll skate it ahead himself. In front by Ninestead. And Arkansas is going to regain control of this puck. This is Palmer with it. Pass ahead. And Kansas comes back into the zone. Dane Johnson makes a move in front. What a save by Kalmus. Not fooled on the deke by the Jayhawks forward. Big saves can really get the momentum swinging the other direction. This crowd coming to life after that one. This puck comes trickling in to the KU zone where the Jayhawks control it. Some D-to-D passes. Intercepted by Valdron. He gloves ahead to himself. Steps out in front. Into the slot now. Takes a shot and goes up and out of play. Had Valentini on the back post. I think Fisher might have got a stick on that one. And you're right. He did have his man sitting on the back post. Decided to take the shot instead. Flew a little close to the sun on that shot. Good defensive play by Andrew Fisher. Face-off is going to be Ryan versus Parisi. And it's won by Parisi. Stepping in front is McLean. Centering pass. Puck is loose on the doorstep. Still there, bouncing. And it's cleared to the sideboards. Parisi gets a stick on it, being pushed off the puck by two KU defenders. Still a fight for it there. Finally coming away with it is Kansas. As they get it out to center ice, but it's going to be taken there by Magnus. He'll send it to Marsh. Up ahead, finds Farinetta. 
Centering pass, McLean. He's got some room in front of him. Top of the circle, waits and waits and waits. Finally, cross-eyes pass, finds Marsh at the point. Top of the circle, gets a puck through the traffic, but misses the net wide. It's going to come to the near side. Wazerstrom couldn't get it. Now Parisi out in front. Tied up at the blue line. Does clear the zone. Picked up by Steen. Not afraid to step ahead, the defender. Out in front, high slot, gets a shot away, misses the net wide. Centering pass, still loose in front. Finally covered up by Kalmus. And Arkansas, they're able to get offensive zone pressure now, but really they're getting in too deep and creating odd man opportunities for Kansas coming back the other way. Yeah, I like the pressure that they're creating on this end of the ice, though. You know, you can't be afraid of that anymore. That was something you should have been afraid of earlier in this period before you were down two goals. So now's the time to really step up and make those plays that you were wanting to make when it was even. Face off control by Kansas. Centering pass, this one goes through everybody, back to the point. Tried to leave it off for his man Brown, but it's going to be taken away and skated ahead by Jackson. He's got Moore with him, finds a pass across Moore, bounces off his stick, leaves it, and scores! Aiden Everett! What a drop pass. He couldn't handle the initial pass, so he left it there, and Aiden Everett That's Grant able Deacon. to get the proximate goal. That's Aiden Everett, yeah, nice. Couldn't tell who it was, but a beautiful goal there by Aiden Everett. And Arkansas able to cut this lead to one and get the momentum going their way with 3.05 left here in the second. Two assists on that one, Jackson and Moore. They're going to keep this line out there, the checking line, beautifully done by Arkansas to get the proximate goal. Dumped into the zone by Bachman on the stick of Odeline. Bachman's going to keep it in, though. Tries to get it down low. Odeline. Gets it back out to the blue line. They'll just dump it deep into the corner. Corey Reese. As they announce the goal, Arkansas tries to break out of the zone. Glove down by Bachman. Sends it across to McConnell. Is just going to dump it in. Wheels it around to the far side. Getting a stick on the puck is Oda line. Off the boards now. And it's going to be Moore with it. He's got Jackson ahead of him. Jackson puts on the brakes. He's just oh. ahead. He put on the brakes there, but I think he was pushed over the line by a KU player. He was only over the line for about a half second, but during that half second, the puck crossed as well. Uh, even if you got to put on the full brakes to, to stop an offside, it really doesn't help you. They need to be straddling that blue line and really turning on the Jets as soon as that puck comes into the zone. So a little bit sloppy there, but Arkansas will look to clean it up. 2.23 left here in the second. Deacon out to take the face off. And they're going to throw Engel out. In comes Dane Johnson. And he'll win the faceoff. Steam, cross ice. This one flipped up. Controlled by Palmer for the Hogs. He'll send it off the boards. Into the body of Branscombe. Still a battle for it at the blue line. Taken away by Engel. Hard to knock him off the puck, but it finally cleared to the sideboards. And Bransom's going to get a stick on it. Just turns around and flips it off the boards. He had some room to work. And this is Dane Johnson. Blocker save. Puck loose in front. Finally a shot and scores. Wow. Puck just sat there on the doorstep. Might have been Engel. Yeah. Unfortunate break for the Hogs. Kalmus with a great save on Dane Johnson's shot. But Arkansas just let the rebound sit there. And finally let Engel pick his corner. 25, not 23. That was, yeah, that was Engel. A little bit of air comes out of the crowd with 150 left here in the second. You really put that one on Branscombe, too, unfortunately. He should not have cleared the puck like he did. It was yeah. A very weak clear. Yeah, a little bit of a, a panic move. Didn't know how much time he had or how much room he had as we get an icing call. Yeah, you'll see that a little bit from this, this Arkansas team. If they get the puck on their stick and just kind of out of position, they'll just turn and, and, and fling it off the boards or, or send it down the ice instead of you know trying to get their head moving and, and try to see how much room they have to actually work. Face off one. Back to Dane Johnson, but he loses the puck, and this comes offside. Delayed as Kansas finally does clear it. Controlled by Marsh. He'll send it near side boards. Broken up there by Watkins as he pins a man on the boards. Finally, breaking out is McLean. 
McLean makes a move around a man. He'll have to chase the puck down in the corner as Brown is on him. McLean makes another move. He's got Marsh at the point, holds onto it instead. Centering pass Farinetta, who just tipped it on net. And Smith covers up easily. A minute 14 left here in the second. 4-2 to two lead for Kansas. Both teams make a line change. Arkansas getting that Moore, Jackson, Everett line back out there with Moore at center. He's got Everett lined up. Offset on the circle behind him, the right-handed stick. will try to get it to Everett and perhaps across the Reese if they can get a face-off win. And they do. Everett has it bouncing, just has to try to settle it. Couldn't get a shot away as this is taken away by Ryan. He's going to skate it in himself, being forced aside by Odeline. Does get a centering pass, but a good job by the Arkansas defenders to break that up. Steen's going to send it far side. Once again, Reese breaks that up as they were looking for a man far side. That was nine instead. Let's make some noise, our fans. Just under a minute to play. The crowd trying to get back into this one, support their hometown team as Everett sends this one up and out of play. 43 seconds left here to play in the second period. Arkansas definitely looking to try to gain a little bit of momentum heading into that third period. Yeah, not much you can do. Both teams leave the same lines out there. It's going to be more to take the face off against Connor Ryan. And it's going to be controlled by KU. They can't get a shot away. This one ahead to Jackson. Up to kick to escape. And just sent it off the board. Out to center ice. This one's steered aside of Aiden Everett. Picked up by Ryan. 30 seconds to play. Steen with it now. Makes a move in front. Knocked off the puck by Moore. Picked up by Jackson. But he's forced to the side. Tries a centering pass. That one goes through the crease. And Odeline pinching in. Gets it in deep. 17 seconds left to play. Tied up behind the goal line by Pearson. He'll try to skate it on himself. He's got Everett on him. And he gets it through Reese, and he's going to pick up the puck. Steps out in front, takes a shot off the side of the net. Close play, comes back out in front on the stick of Ryan. Two seconds to play. This one steered aside by Kalmus, and the buzzer blows on this second period, and Arkansas will go into the intermission with a two-goal deficit. A better period overall by Arkansas, and yet they still concede four goals. I thought towards the end of the period they had all the momentum going their way, but yet again Kansas answers with a goal of their own. And it just feels like it doesn't matter what Arkansas does, Kansas is going to answer back sevenfold. They, they could just score so quickly. They're so fast and they're so strong with the puck on their stick that, you know, they, they could turn a, a, a quick outlet pass into a goal in five seconds or less. It's, it's, that uh, turnover was a killer by Arkansas in their own zone. I mean, that's something that can't happen if you're Arkansas. It's those little mistakes that they need to be fixed going into the third period. If they continue to make those little bitty mistakes, because two of these four goals are off of Arkansas mistakes, getting back on defense and the, and the poor clearance in the defensive zone. Those two things happen, and now you're down two goals. So that's the difference in the game right now is you've made two mistakes, and they've capitalized twice. It's not to say that they haven't made mistakes. But their mistakes, we're not capitalizing on. So if Arkansas is going to get back in this game in the third period, they have to, have to play mistake-free hockey, stay out of the penalty box, get into the dirty areas, and get some goals on the board. We'll be back in about 15 minutes for the call of this third period. Don't go anywhere. Arkansas are trying to claw their way back into this one. They trail Kansas 4-2. to two.
welcome back to the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, as we get set to bring you the third period between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Kansas University Jayhawks. Kansas leads this one 4-2, to two, able to get two goals, excuse me, four goals in that second period with scoreless first period, outscoring Arkansas by two. Really, Arkansas had some chances in that period, but Kansas can score very quickly, and they were able to do so to come into this third and possibly final frame with a two-goal lead. My name is Corey Porter. Alongside me is E.J. Sanders on camera tonight. Quinn Shield. E.J., what's Arkansas got to do to try to get back into this game? It's really just starts with our offensive zone time. That's something that they haven't had a lot of throughout this game. Uh, they actually had more in the second period in, uh, whenever they conceded four goals, but those goals were on counterattacks and a couple of turnovers in the defensive zone. So uh, Arkansas is playing pretty well on the offensive end if they can just get down there. That suffocating four check and neutral zone trap that Kansas switches up between is, is really hard for Arkansas to break. They're going to have to do a better job of it in the third period. And the opening faceoff is won by the Kansas captain, Bachman. As KU skates it ahead with Pearson into the zone. He plays one off to the sideboard looking for McConnell. Getting in the way of that is the Arkansas defender, though. And Corey Reese is going to play it ahead to McLean. He's got a man breaking out past just behind Parisi. And KU comes back the other way. Off the stick of McConnell, chips it into the zone. And they'll have to retreat with the delayed offsides as Pearson fans on it trying to dump it in. And Reese picks it up for the Hogs. 30 seconds gone here in this third period. Corey Reese and Odeline playing catch with the puck back and forth. Finally played ahead to Deacon Jess off of his stick and broken up by Kansas. They send it ahead to McConnell. Steps in top of the circle, fakes the shot, being forced to the outside by Cam Farinetta on the stick of Manson now. Sends it far side, centering pass, broken up nicely by Kalmus. And McLean tries to send it ahead to Odeline, but Jess ahead of his stick. And taken ahead by Deacon in front. Tried to get a shot away. Had a stick lifted in front by Steen. A good chance by the Hogs. Broken up by one of KU's better defenders. Branscombe now with it. Tried a, a pass off to Sugasawara. Shot in front. Misses high as Deacon loaded up for the big shot from the faceoff circle. And this one's up and out of play. And we get a stoppage with 18.45 left here in the third. Arkansas getting outshot badly in this game. 28-15 by my count. They had a few more shots there in the second period, doubled their first period total, but they're going to need to get even more if they're going to get back in this one. Thrown into the corner, Sugasawara in there along with Branscombe. Sugasawara steps out in front, gets a shot away, but a good save by Smith, hugging that post as it bounces up into his bell, and he holds on for the whistle. Arkansas with another offensive zone faceoff. Sugasawara has been quiet this weekend, hasn't gotten on the scoreboard, has three shots tonight, had four last night. He's going to need to get a couple more on net. His face-off is steered to the sideboard. Both teams trying to come away with the puck now. On the stick of Angle, he skates out in front of his own goal, and he gets a pass ahead. Taken by Dane Johnson, makes a nice move, steps in. He's on the backhand, pass across. Nice job by Valdron as he knocks Watkins off of his feet as well. Good defensive play, then a hard check by Tyler Valdron as this one's played ahead to Suga Sawara. He makes a move around a man. He's got Branscombe in front, finds him, pa uh, passes broken up. By KU, though, as they had two defenders there on the doorstep. Dane Johnson with it again. Drop pass left there for Watkins. Gets a shot stick save by Kalmus, and this one's thrown off the boards. And out to center ice by Moore. He loses it there, and Kansas tries to dump it back the other way, but they'll have to retreat into their own zone with 17.48 left here in the third period. Dane Johnson drop pass to his defender. Near side now. Played ahead. Nice pass on the stick of Johnson. Leaves it there for Angle. Angle takes a shot and a good save. Might have been a block shot for Marsh, and this one goes up and out of play. 17-35 here in the third. Nice job here by Arkansas on the defensive end. It needs to be one and done opportunities like that for KU. A lot of the times they'll get deep in the zone. They'll get two or three opportunities of possession, and that's how you create goals. Arkansas right now limiting them to just one of possession right now. Face off to the right of Calum. It's going to be won by Moore. Coming to play it is Marsh. Puts on the brakes. He'll come near side. Pass just out of the reach of Everett. Not able to handle it. It's going to be shoved back into the corner as Marsh tries it again, being pressured by Olsen. This one up the boards, kept in by Ryan Smith. And Arkansas finally does get it out as Jackson has it, but he shovels it ahead to nobody. And it's going to be picked up by Pearson. cross size pass off the stick of Ryan Smith. Picked up by Jackson. Centering pass, had Wheeler in front. Just missed his stick. 
And the outlet pass is able to be cleared to center ice, but Marsh stops it there before it's finally shoveled into the zone. And Marsh fans on the pass as he was looking for Valentini breaking out of the zone. This one chipped up into the air onto the stick of Wheeler. And poked ahead to Olsen. He's going to dump it into the zone as KU goes to make a change. 16.45 left here in the period. Reese near side Wheeler. He'll skate it ahead himself, dump it into the zone. He's going to chase it as Ben Smith comes out to slow it up for his defender. Ryan Smith plays it off, centering pass, an empty net as Smith was out of position, but no one home to gather in that centering pass as Odeline chases it down, being pushed into the boards, pressured hard by Bachman. That's going to be Wheeler. He'll wheel it around to the far side. Valentini now, outlet pass onto the stick of Tilson, plays it ahead, but he's knocked off his feet. Wrapped up a leg for a second, but Manson brings it in. McConnell. McConnell, face-off circle, shot off the face mask of Kalmus. Coming back the other way is McLean. McLean into the slot, tried to make a move instead of taking the shot into the skates of the KU defender, and they come back the other way with McConnell. He'll get it into the zone, regains control of the puck. He's forced to the outside by Valdron. Centering pass, stolen by the Hogs. This is McLean. He'll try to turn on the Jets, being pressured by Bachman. Dances out of the way of a check. Finally taken off of his feet. No call on the play. Picked up by Steen. Makes a move around Farinetta. And he'll send it to the far side boards. Take it by Arkansas, though. Jess off of the stick of McLean. Skated out by the Jayhawks. 15-30 here in the third period. And a good hit there. And it's wheeled around to the near side. Taken there by Palmer. He'll make a move at his own blue line. Pass broken up by Watkins. And Watkins takes it away. A big hit by McLean. The crowd likes that, but the puck comes back in Arkansas's defensive zone. This is Valdron with it. Good pass. McLean can't get the outlet pass to Parisi, though. Taken over in front. A pass was in the skates of Angle. He couldn't find the puck coming back the other way. It's Valdron. He's got a head of steam, but a bunch of KU players in front of him. Finally knocked off his skate. Able to regain control of the puck. Good play by Valdron. Take it by Branscombe. He's going to dump it down low. Looks like Suga Sawara trying to make a move around a man, but it's taken away nicely by Fisher. In front now, Suga Sawara couldn't get a backhand shot away. Cleared to the near side boards. Palmer keeps it at the blue line. He dumps it in deep. Going to be chased there by Fisher. Branscombe on him. Pressuring hard near side boards now. Dane Johnson. Centers it in front of his own goal. Finally, the outlet pass clears the zone. Ahead to Angle. He makes a move in front, and Palmer pokes it away to the corner. Good play there. Misses a hit. Still with control of the puck as Angle. Try to centering pass. Palmer gloves it down. It is picked up by Dane Johnson. Steps out in front. Deacon. Delayed penalty here. Shot score. A tip in front. I think, I think Johnson... Able to get a stick on that shot from the point. There was a delayed penalty for Arkansas as Smith was heading to the Kansas bench. And Palmer is going to sit down for two minutes as Kansas stretches this lead to 5-2, to two, and they'll go on the power play. Yeah, the ACHA rule is that if uh, there's a delayed penalty and a goal is scored, you still enforce the penalty. So it's just a double whammy for Arkansas here. They're going to have to serve the penalty. Palmer, uh, he's such a sure stick back there, too. They're going to be missing him on this penalty kill. And, uh, you know, it just I think he just got a little uh, little out of his head there for a second. He's normally a very calm player. That's why he wears the C on his uniform. But Arkansas can't afford any more mistakes like that. Crowd voicing their displeasure <laughs> with the call. And I think that's just a misunderstanding of the rule. And Reese sends this one down the ice. 14 minutes to play here in the third. Arkansas trails by three. And they're down a man. Outlet pass on the stick of Johnson. They'll send it far side. Branscombe. Excuse me, Bachman. Finds Steen. Centering pass in front. Puck is loose. Still loose. Couldn't get the shot away. Wheeler does a nice job tying up a stick. Picked up by Steen. He'll skate it back to the blue line. Taking his time with it. Being forced to the side by Valentini, now by Reese, centering pass, finds a stick of Bachman, tried to centering pass, looking for Johnson, off a skate in front, this one's gonna be skated out by Valentini, he's got some room in front of him, I'd like to see him get a shot away, he does, but it's blocked in front by Manson, and he's got a hustle to get back, that's carried in by Bachman, forced to the outside by Marsh, looking to make a pass, he keeps it himself, Finally does send it down low, McConnell. Back to 
Bachman, top of the circle, gets a shot away, kick save by Kalmus. And this one sent out to the blue line, kept in nicely. Bachman steps in again, pass down low, back to Bachman. Bachman tries to pick a corner off the face mask of Kalmus. And up and out of play, 12.46 left here, clock still moving. And they finally do stop it. 12.41 to play, 34 seconds left on Palmer's minor penalty. 5-2. Arkansas. The fans, uh, fans, not as many as last night, but uh, up in arms here this eve- or this afternoon, I should say. Who knows what time of day it is? Not I. This faceoff will come into the Arkansas zone. Five on four, man advantage for Kansas. And they're going to send Engel in to take the faceoff against Brooks Moore. One by Kansas, back to Watkins, cross ice pass. Held at the blue line, near side now. D to D passing. Held there by Pearson, off the skates, finally to the stick of Engel. Couldn't get the shot away. Watkins had an open net. Valdron broke up that shot, and Valdron's going to tie it up against the boards. Finally going to be sent back to the point to Fisher. He'll hold it there. Fisher near side now, finds Watkins. 13 seconds left on the power play. Back to Fisher at the point. Winds up, fakes the shot. Far side now. Finally gets a shot. Looked like it hit the side of the net. Kalmus may may have gotten a piece of it. And it comes the near side as the penalty expires. Palmer goes to the bench. Farinetta comes on. Watkins back to the point to Pearson. He's just going to dump it back to Watkins, and he'll shovel it to the corner. Chasing it there is Ryan being pinched up against the boards. Engel in there as well. Arkansas needs some help. Moore comes in, pushes the man into the boards, and Valdron comes away with the puck. Poor pass. Gets tied up at the blue line, and they're going to call it delayed offside. They finally do blow it dead. That was a four-foot pass that came about three feet up off the ice, got tied up in the linesman's legs, and an offside call, 11.40 to play. Tried to get out of the way. Linesman's part of the ice out there. Arkansas not getting a whole lot of opportunities out here in this period. They're going to have to generate chances on the other end. Down three goals. This is where you just go all out attack here. you got to see what you got in the tank, and you got to see how much will you have to get past this KU defense. Yeah, they just got to get some shots on net, try to make something happen. As this puck comes all the way down to the Arkansas zone, it's going to be gathered by Odeline. Near side, Reese now back to Odeline. And he looks to skate it out himself, gets it to his own blue line. He'll circle back around, try to create a little space. I like the idea. Back to McLean. Now Odeline. He's going to get it into the zone, gets a shot away, blocked in front by Brown. Back to the point, Odeline, big slap shot, gets it through, rebound, loose in front, still loose. McLean trying to poke it away, trying to be covered up by Smith. Couldn't get his glove to, and it's cleared to the sideboards. Into the corner, Parisi gets a stick on it. Looks to make a play, but he has it taken away from him. Angle finds McConnell near side. Going to be skated in by McConnell, the left-handed stick being forced to the left side, centering pass broken up by the Hogs. Farinetta just turns around and throws this down the ice, and Smith's going to play it. Off the boards, tried to find his man Brown. Reese is going to pinch in to try to get to the puck first. He does get to it, but a battle for it as Deacon takes his defensive spot. They'll send it off the boards, gloved down by Branscombe. He's got some room in front of him, steps in, tried to get a shot away. Blocked in front, back to Deacon now. They'll send him to the corner, looking for the give and go. He didn't give it back, though. Finally a pass, back to the point. Palmer gets a shot away, hits Brown in front and cleared by Kansas. Good chances here for Arkansas, but not able to get the pucks all the way through to the goaltender. Max Brown with four block shots already here in the third period. Yeah, clogging up those shooting and passing lanes with 10 minutes left here in the period. Lose an edge in front. They're going to say he was tripped up, and Deacon is going to go to the box for a penalty. This one's going to be touched up by the Arkansas goaltender, Kalamis, and once again, Arkansas goes on the penalty kill. Yeah, Brands can go into the box here. If he call, it didn't really look like he tripped him. Looked more, maybe stepped on his stick, but gets the call either way. And Arkansas in some trouble here late. 9.52 left to play. They trail by three, and they're down a man once again. Face off one. Watkins thought about a shot. It's going to be carried out by Valdron. 
He gets it into the zone, but he's going to have to retreat here. Still controlling it. Zaldrin with it. Tried to make one too many moves. He does get it in front before it's finally poked away. I'd like to see Arkansas stay aggressive on this penalty kill as they don't have much time left to work with. Skated out by KU. This is Watkins. He's got a man in front, takes a sharp angled shot, misses the net wide. And Moore is going to win the race of this puck, and he's just going to dump it in deep. Smith comes out to play it, leaves it there for Engel. And Engel makes a move around. Jackson gets it into the zone. He's all by himself. Another move around Reese, gets a shot away. Good save by Kalmus. And coast to coast moves for Dawson. Engel gets a shot away. Good save by the goaltender, but Arkansas on their heels here late. Not a single Arkansas player has more than three shots. Kansas has four players with five shots or more. And that right now is the difference in this game. A minute 15 left on Branscombe's penalty. Face off one by Kansas. They'll get it back to the, the point. Quick shot by Bachman, tipped in front. That one went wide of the net. Off the glass now, gloved down by Bachman, kept into the zone. They'll send it down low, McConnell. McConnell gets a shot away. The puck is loose in the post, and they're trying to poke it in. They may have got that in. And it looks like a little scuffle in front. Dane Johnson has him in full mount, finally given up. As Odeline stands up, holding on to a leg a little bit. And see the puck sitting in the crease, able to keep that out. That puck was sitting right on that post. Kalmus didn't see it, but... Yeah, neither did the referee, but, you know, let's let him play on that one. It's not that the refereeing is all that bad here. It's that it's inconsistent. That's what's frustrating the Hogs right now. Yeah, just some untimely calls. I mean, you're going to blow a puck dead where you see it in the crease, and you're not going to blow that one dead when the goalie's covering it up. It causes a scuffle in front of the net, and that's how players get hurt. Your job as a referee, first and foremost in the ACHA, is to protect the players. And a blocked shot for Reese. They get it back down to the other end, and a shot by Valentini. 43 seconds left on Branscombe's penalty. And Bachman's going to skate it out of his own zone across the red line, across the Arkansas blue line. He's got a man streaking. Goes to the backhand, try to find Dane Johnson in the front. Puck is loose, and they do blow that one dead. <laughs> How about that? They heard you yelling, and they gave Arkansas a break because that puck was still loose with Dane Johnson poking away at it in front. 32 Dane. seconds left on the power play for Kansas. 8-23 left here in the third period. Two wrongs don't make a right, but when you don't see the puck, blow the whistle. When you do see the puck, don't blow the whistle. So he did two wrongs there. That's just two, two wrong plays. KU should have had another opportunity at that. You don't make up a call like that. And KU gives himself another opportunity with a faceoff win. Bachman, Johnson, cross-size pass, shot, score. Wow, what a shot. That, might, that was Manson, assisted by Bachman and Dane Johnson. Just good, crisp passing from Kansas. We've seen that all weekend. No surprise there, especially on the power play. Really potent offense, and when you give them a man advantage, you give them that much room to work, they're going to make good things happen. This is a really good team. There's a reason they're unbeaten. There's a reason they went to regionals last year, and they're going to do good things again this year. Arkansas has some good things to come away with this weekend, some things to work on. Their first true test I think is really going to help them grow as a team here. 8-12 left here in the third. 6-2 lead as Kansas gets a two-on-one. Centering pass broken up by Palmer. And Valdron, outlet pass, Suga Sawara. Gets it in deep. Ryan is going to leave it there for Ryan Smith. He'll send it near side now. Ninestead comes out in front, Arkansas. Holding it there, McLean gets a shot away. Misses high off the glass. Valdron chips it back into the corner. Parisi chasing it. Ryan Smith gets it there first, trying to find Olsen near side, but McLean is going to get in the way of that one. Palmer is going to keep it in at the blue line, tried to get a shot away. Couldn't get it through the traffic in front. Parisi, centering pass, broken up by Olsen. This centering pass, glove down, Suga Sawara, tied up in his skates, couldn't find it, finally does come out to center ice as Palmer gets it on his stick, waits for the offside to clear, then dumps it in. As the forwards will get a change for the Hogs. Intercepted by Valdron, tried to make a move in front, lost the puck. Moore is going to poke it down deep. As McLean loses an edge, Deacon tries to get a shot away, blocked by Olsen. And Arkansas still not able to get a shot away here, still controlling it, though. 
Pass just ahead of the stick of Palmer, and this one's going to be chipped out of the zone, controlled by Deacon, plays it back to Valter, and he's got Palmer near side, but sends it up ahead to Moore. Instead, he's got a man behind him, tried to take a shot, misses the net wide. Arkansas gets their defenders changed as Deacon is battling for the puck. They'll send it below the goal line. Now up to Watkins. Off the boards, two-on-one coming back the other way with Engel. Cross-size pass, couldn't get a shot away in front. Actually off the pad of Kalmus. Good save there by the defender. And Marsh giving it to Johnson behind the play, trying to get a penalty there. And he is going to get one. But Johnson went crashing into the goaltender. And Marsh finally touches up the puck. He was willing to take the penalty on that, letting Dane Johnson know, you're not going to go crashing into my goaltender. But I say if you're going to take a penalty like that, make him feel it. Don't, yeah. don't try to push him from behind or give him a, a, a light tap on the shins. Yeah, I think that's get one his where face you wait on him know. next time. Yeah. yeah, next time down. So Marsh will sit down for two minutes. Arkansas, the game seemingly out of reach. Goes on the penalty kill once again. Good save by Kalmus there, but dangerous play. And, and, and Marsh definitely wanted to let him know that's not going to happen. It looks like they're going to walk someone off the ice. I think the more frustrating part for Arkansas tonight is they felt like they were in this game coming into this third period, you know. Uh, and, yeah, Kalmus is hurt right here. I mean, and, you know, that's not, that's not that's not a play that you can say is dirty by Dane Johnson. He's just skating in, <coughs> skating in hard, collides with the goaltender. Kalmus makes a good save, you know. And like you said, though, if you're going to make him pay, make him pay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't injure him, but, you know, <laughs> let, let him know that him know. Uh, you don't appreciate him. So it looks like Kalmus is okay as the trainer checks him out. He's, he's had a tough weekend. He's seen a lot of action. This is an aggressive KU team. Taking a few pucks off the face mask. You know, he'll take a take a nice ice bath this weekend <laughs> and get ready for McKendry next week. Well, he's hoping that ice bath comes here about 1.30. Face off one by Kansas. They'll get it back to Pearson. He'll play it ahead, but taken away. Valentini's going to clear the zone. Pearson controls it there, finds a man near side. Carried into the zone is Engel. Engel back to the point. Finds Fisher. Cross eyes pass. Held there. This is Pearson near side. Engel. Engel's going to step out in front, centering pass. Shot gets away, saved by Kalmus. Rebound is cleared. They just get it over the blue line as Valentini's pressure in this one. Getting quite a bit of ice time late here. Pearson skates into the zone on his backhand. He's just going to shovel it in deep. 120 left on Marsh's penalty. 538 left in the game. Battle for it on the near side board. And Moore puts a body on Connor Ryan. Picked out by Engel. Being tied up by Moore. Magnus in there as well. Puck loose in the skates. Arkansas trying to win this loose puck battle as it comes back below the goal line. Odeline sends it off the glass. Not enough to clear the zone as Pearson keeps it in there. He's going to step out in front. He's got Moore standing in front of him. Sends it near side for Watkins now. Watkins gets a shot away. Good save by Kalmus. Deflects this one up and out of play. And we'll get an offensive zone faceoff for the Jayhawks. 5-11 left in the third, 51 left on the power play for Kansas. Arkansas needs to work on some things. They're flying around right now towards every puck, which is, you know, not a bad or a good thing necessarily, just kind of what they're doing. They need to uh, calm down and try to get some offensive chances to the other end. Good move by Bachman to get that puck in deep as he lost it at the blue line. Arkansas is still trying to get control of the puck. Good pressure here on this penalty kill as Manson's trying to step out in front. Palmer all over him and finally a cover by Kalmus. 30 seconds left on the power play. Well, Palmer's not going to give up on that one. He's an excellent defender, has been for all of his time here at the University of Arkansas. Uh, and I mean, Manson, Manson getting in his face right now, but Palmer just a great defensive play there, not tripping him up, just doing everything he can to get that puck. Johnson versus Parisi. One by Johnson. Bachman steps in. Forced wide by McLean. He's going to go far side. Trying to centering pass. Broken up by Valdron. Gets it on his stick. 
having a dance out of the way of Manson being chased now by Ninestead. He's going to send it near side. Parisi racing Dane Johnson to the puck. Parisi beats it there. Two on one short handed coming back the other way. He's got McLean with him. Finds McLean. Cross size. Oh. Couldn't handle the pass. Just under his stick. And KU is going to get a three on one coming back the other way. Uh, pass across off the skate of Ninestead. Still loose out in front as Palmer takes it below his own goal line. He's going to send this one up off the glass and McLean is just going to let it go all the way down the ice. I'm not sure Palmer knew it was back to five on five, but they'll get an icing call with 4-12 left here in the third. A four-goal lead for the Kansas Jayhawks. Base off to the left side of Kalmus. To the right side of Kalmus. <laughs> Arkansas will be back in town next weekend. They'll be playing McKendry. A uh, familiar team to the Division I coach. Coach Falls played his hockey there. Ooh, a big hit by McLean. As there's a battle for this puck on the far side boards. Just under four minutes to play. McLean played for the D1 team this last weekend. Had three or four goals in three games played for the D1 team. So... McLean uh, showing the, his worth uh, on both teams. Clear the delayed offsides as Brown hits the deck. Unable to capitalize as Farinetta couldn't get the puck. Still controlled below the goal line. It's going to be Odeline pinching in. Leaves one back for Deacon. Back to Odeline. Steps out in front. Gets a wrist shot away through the traffic. But bounces up in the air. And dancing out of the way of a hit is Weiserstrom. And they get it into the zone, but it's taken by Reese. He's going to play it off for Moore. Makes a nice move around Engel. And Moore gets into the zone. Tries, tries a toe drag. Gets a weak backhand shot away. And Smith covers up. And some pushing and shoving late. Corey Reese coming in, trying to help out. A little chippy here at the end. I'd like to see Moore take that wrist shot from the circle rather than toe drag. But. And it's a tough situation. You know, from up here, it, it, it seems obvious. It's just, you know, you don't know what the positioning looks like down there on the ice. And, but, yeah, I mean, a weak backhand, it, a wrist shot from the low slot is always better than a backhand from the low circle. So, uh, you know, it's, it's tough to say. Uh, but, uh, you know, a good play by Moore getting it into the zone. If you're going to go down low like that, I think you need to look for a pass, though. He was almost at the goal line when he made that shot. Wiggins seeing some ice time tonight. Dumps it in deep for the Hogs. This one that will be played to the near side. Boards, though, and Marsh will have to retreat as KU clears his own. But just ahead of the play, they're going to call Watkins offside. And Angle wasn't aware of it. And they're going to take this one all the way down to the KU zone. 2.51 to play. Arkansas will get an offensive zone faceoff. As Watkins just ahead of the play. This is a young Arkansas team. We forget that all the time. I mean, their oldest player is Zach Palmer, and then after that, I mean, is Aiden Everett. And, and then after that, there's no other seniors on this team. It's it's all freshmen and sophomores for the most part. I think there's a junior here or there, but for the most part, this is a young, young team, and the fact that they can compete with an experienced team like Kansas, who has upwards of eight seniors on their team, that is really pretty impressive for this Arkansas team. They can compete with these guys. It's just those little freshman mistakes that we see so often uh, have finally come to bite Arkansas on the backside. And uh, they are talented. They are absolutely talented. So, uh, you know, McLean uh, and a bunch of those guys out there uh, are going to be have a great future here at Arkansas. You don't see this a lot, but I think Watkins got a penalty before the puck even dropped. The crowd likes that one. Arkansas, I mean, 2.51 left here. If you can get a quick goal, you know, maybe you, you have thoughts of, uh, of really trying to put some pressure on. Uh, but four goal deficit this late is tough. And that's going to be a. Yeah, they sent, they sent Watkins off the ice. That's, that's going to be a, a game misconduct, or at least a, a 10 minute misconduct. They don't want him on the ice anymore. That's a, that's a useless penalty to take there. Yeah, face off one by McLean. He's got a centering pass, but broken up. This one's sent all the way down the ice. 240 left here to play as Palmer gathers it for the Hawks. And he's going to take his time, skate it out himself across the KU blue line. Gets it into the zone deep. 
as Fisher pokes it away from him. Parisi at the defensive spot. Keeps it in the zone nicely. Finds a man on the sideboards. That's Palmer. Plays it off down in the corner for Suga Sawara. Battle for it on the boards. Parisi trying to pick it out. Fisher tying it up in the, against the boards. Angle pushing Parisi into the glass. Finally hitting the deck is Angle. Still trying to dig it out. Angle pushed off his feet. Picked up by Dane Johnson. Johnson has a two-on-one or a one-on-two coming back the other way. And he's forced out wide. Valdron trying to stick check him. Parisi puts a big body on him. A little bit of a rattle there. 144 left to play. 53 seconds left on Arkansas's power play. This one dumped down the ice. Kalmus coming out of the net to play it. And Palmer's going to hold it there. Crowd noticeably quiet here late with a minute and a half left. And Palmer skates it out once again. He'll take it to the outside. Send it back to the point to Valdron. Likes to shoot. Pass it off instead to Palmer. Palmer cross-ice pass. Sferonetta tried to get a shot away. Blocked in front by Ninestead to Deacon now. Deacon switches spots with Valdron. He'll give it to him. One-timer gets it through traffic but misses the net wide. And it's going to come back to Palmer at the point. He'll leave it off. Deacon. Battle for it on the boards. As Manson was in there. Penalty expires. 50 seconds left in the game. Skated out of the zone now. This is Ninestead. Tried to make a move around Palmer. Forced wide. 40 seconds left. A shot. Couldn't get it through the traffic. Blocked in front by Deacon. Palmer gets it ahead. And we're going to get a penalty called for a slash. Looks like they're going to send Palmer in. He's not happy about it. <laughs> Tried to slam the door <laughs> shut. <laughs> the penalty <laughs> box attendant not letting him. Big, big smile on his face, though. So we got 36 yeah, seconds left here. 6-2 to two lead for Kansas. You know, I'd say let him slam it. <laughs> That's one you just get out of the way of. <laughs> yeah. Face off one by Kansas, oh, almost man. losing an edge. As Wiggins is pushed from behind Wiggins. off his feet. Still battling to get the puck out. He does. This one skated ahead by Valentini. Able to keep the puck on his stick. He's going to dump it in to the corner to himself, fighting for the puck. Finally tripped up. And Kansas tries to come back the other way, but it's going to be Magnus controlling it. 13 seconds left here. And Manson gives him a little bit of room. Magnus sends this one all the way down the ice. Smith comes out to play it with three seconds left. And Smith with a nice move gets around Nick Valentini. And the buzzer blows. And Kansas comes away with a weekend sweep, winning this one 6-2. to two. Just a lot of penalties for Arkansas in this game. Uh, you know, it felt like there were times. Uh, and, you know, all of them pretty deserved i mean arkansas shouldn't you know they shouldn't be taking bad penalties especially late in games like that uh you know th this is really going to be the test this is this is the week of practice that's really going to show what arkansas is made of next weekend against mckendry mckendry's not as good of a team i don't think as kansas is but you know you can get caught by a team like mckendry and arkansas doesn't need that so i'd like to see them come in next weekend and really just put Put it to McKendry, uh, you know, after KU comes in this weekend. And really, it was never even that close for Arkansas all weekend long. It felt like there were a couple of times that breaks didn't go their way, but they caught a couple of breaks as well. So it's just one of those things where a young team really needs to needs to get these losses in their mouths. They don't need to get that bad taste out of their mouth. They need to really understand what it's like to lose so that they don't do it again. They need to understand that, hey, you know, uh, what did we do wrong? What were our mistakes? How can we get better going forward into the future? Because that's really what's going to test their mettle later on in this season. So Arkansas, yeah, tough losses this weekend. Both of them were. I mean, I think this one even more bitter than last night's, and it was a large, you know, the same margin of victory. But uh, it just felt like it was a little bit different today because it felt like they were in the game a lot longer, and it, it just couldn't capitalize on the opportunities that they had. Yeah, Kansas definitely looked like the better team, bigger, faster. Uh, I said at one point they just really strong with the, the puck on their stick, not able to be knocked off of that puck often and really created chances for themselves. So Arkansas has some work to do to try to regroup uh, before next week against McKendry. We'll be back for the call of that game for my team here, Quinn Shields, EJ Sanders. I'm Corey Porter. We'll see you guys next week.